Hey, down here. Okay, so this is a completed uh, ESET virus scan on the uh, AS Rock. Well, wouldn't you know what? I dropped the phone. Why don't I just turn it sideways and complete the complete the poor video work here? That's my mach the machine, so that I remember which one. And uh, <coughs> anyway, it uh, started. Uh, I I leave this running sometimes. It's a wind one's one to seven, <coughs> <coughs> and uh, I'm trying to get it to where see the screen good okay it runs Windows 7 and uh, I'll have it running and, and get to it with a remote desktop most of the time I don't even keep my monitor and everything hooked up to it because I got too many for my four port switch KVM switch so um, I noticed that the Firefox which is my default web browser would kept opening up to a web page all by itself while I was, you know, it was running. I just left it running to uh, upload files to Google uh, Photos, and uh, got to looking at looking it up. And the website, it was actually the website wasn't there though. It was a, a website that was gone, and it's uh, gosh, I can't think of the name of it now. Uh, it uh, it. it uh, was a click fraud website basically is what it was so advertising they there was the things I read said this is the uh, report scan of the report that that it was being used by the uh, people that uh, were making uh, you know putting advertisements in their free software to do click fraud on advertisements like what with Google and all that sort of stuff so um, said it wasn't actual malware in itself but you know it was uh, making your computer go to those websites so I ran a vast on a boot time scan it took some stuff out I ran malware bots in uh, safe mode and it took some more stuff out there's some stuff I had in my download folder that I've had for a long time that now I knew they had ads in them but the software was good but since I didn't know what where it was really coming from, I just let it took it all out because I still have those original files if I decide I still want them. But um, so anyway, this one, this E said it shows 14 things. Uh, it says infected objects 14, cleaned 14. So let's go look at the scan log before we go. A lot of stuff in the scan log, huh? Uh, oh, a bunch of it was in the recycle bin. Needs to have been cleaned out. This should clean it out for me. That's what I was thinking. I, I figured, I got to thinking, you know, I bet there may be stuff in the recycle bin. Some of this stuff may be uh, like Conboot. That's a Linux based program for changing passwords, and it shouldn't be anything wrong with that. But I'm not going to worry about it on this one. Gzip, Seagate, DW, disk, Seagate, Disk Wizard, I don't know what that is, Archive Damaged. I know you can't read that and I'm not holding very still either. Uh, Unetra Damage, a lot of these things that had to do with Linux a applications will show up as broken archives. When it's just that uh, the Windows virus scanners don't know how to deal with them. Un 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 Unetra IMG, those generally do show up. This program just, I mean, I could have probably set it to uh, stop and tell me and then do what I wanted with each thing, but I, I, on this system, everything is copies of other, you know, that I have on the backup server, so I don't care if they come off here. I just want it to run good. And you never know, you know, if a file was okay when you put it on there, maybe uh, some uh, worm virus rootkit crawled in there and found a way to get into that file so so there's, if you really want to clean up a system then you might as well just get rid of everything that looks bad I set a vast on 
maximum everything. I just put it that way too. Because I had already scanned it with from within the window system and it showed up to be clean. And I didn't have PUPS potentially unwanted programs selected. So when I had selected that, because that's where these are, they're they're advertising things, you know, they're not actual actual viruses. There's one, McGaffey removal tool. And I NSIS deal. Oh, it says it's okay. Well, why is it mentioned? Okay, there's all kinds of log stuff in here. That's why there's so many. Yeah, I remember this program now. Only the ones in red are the things that were uh, actually. Let's see. CPU Z, a variant of Win32 toolbar. Oh, okay. Deleted. I wish I could make these be ordered by. There's a bunch of more red ones. I accidentally missed my bar and it jumped down. Um, I'm having to hold this right under my chin. I can't even see where I'm aiming exactly. I'm just thinking I'm close. I don't, usually I don't have to hold it this far back. I don't know. Maybe my settings have changed. I used to keep it on HDR and that's usually good. It makes it as good a picture as you can get. But it's odd, you set it on all the different settings in this open camera app and it'll make a different size of video. But it's on 1080 by whatever right now. But uh, main cam, webcam app, I know that it's, it's uh, got ads in it, I know that. Oh, the ass toolbar. Okay. Uh, Several versions. That one says older version. Oh, it says it works in with my D-Link camera, my old camera. And then the, I think the newer version won't. So I had several versions. Let's see. Speed maximizer. Execute. Mostly they've got this ask toolbar in there. I went ahead and set this to pretty whatever you could set maximum. Sardu, you keep every program is squawking about Sardu now, which is one of my old favorites. They do have ads. In install monetizer. It doesn't work as good as it used to though. It's it's buggy and crashing Sardu, and uh, it also took up out some of the features. So, I mean, I can understand both so both sides. You want to be able to make money. But if you can start getting too pushy, then nobody's going to buy anything from you. So I don't really know why they think that's a solution. Okay, so, anyway. I don't know if I got through them all, but... Uh, that is what this one said. Okay, so now what am I going to do? It's done, and they, it's, they've already been taken out, so... I'm going to the tools first. Go to the quarantine. Okay, here's what's in quarantine. If I can get it to where it will... I know it can't be read anyway, so I guess I don't know why I'm really doing that. This phone didn't have that good a resolution. Let's see. PF port checker. PC speed maximizer. Manicam. D-Link V micro cams, that'd be the driver for it. Uh, Sardu, two different versions of Sardu. Actually, I think it's the same version and different different copies. Hirons Boot CD, that whole thing. It says potentially unsafe. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, Con Boot. Oh, okay. That's actually a tool. Okay. Hirons 15, that's a tool as well. I'm not worried about those. I wonder if I can put them back. Yeah. I'm going to restore those. Well, yeah, I don't do it now. doesn't matter. I have, like I said, I have copies of that on my main machine. I, I don't want to take any chances of it not. Never, Like I said before, i got to remember that just because of, I know that it was okay at the beginning, it could have always gotten the the a, a worm virus could have found its way into the file somehow. So, okay, 
then um, okay, I'm gonna hit close. Oh, okay, that brings you back to the home screen. So we're done with this part, and uh, just go ahead and I may have gotten way off. It's very hard to hold still. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna shut him down. And tomorrow I'll run another one. I'll run. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I've got I've got it all set up on my little USB stick. And uh, I'm going to run something else tomorrow. Some uh, a vent or something like that. This one's pretty good. I like. It. I think it's pretty thorough. It seems to be. It's not one I ever heard of before, like a vest and. You know all the other big, big name, big brands, but I like the way it's set up, and uh, I found it in. I think I found it in Sardu. So uh, get my USB stick. This is an old USB stick. Uh, I used Sardu, I believe. I might use Yummy on this one to set it up with. This is only. These are only. Two, I have two of these. There's only two gigabyte sticks. But so I can only put so much on them, but uh, they're real handy for making rescue discs, rescue USB sticks and stuff. But uh, and there's my KVM switch that I was talking about. So anyway, there we go. There's my results. And uh, let's see if we can get it straightened out. It showed up to be clean, so, you know. I mean, that's the thing. Every time you tr scan a computer that's been infected, uh, you usually always keep finding more and more stuff until you scan it. If you're lucky, three times, probably five to eight times until until finally get a scan that says you know clean. So um, I've got it's really kind of I I haven't been using Windows. I hardly ever use Windows, and uh, I've been using it more lately because of my new phones. This is the one with the that I've got in the cassette. Holder. It's just like the one I'm using. Got it in a cassette case. I can see my head in there, uh, so that I can set it uh, set it up as a still camera. And um, it um, for, works out pretty good. But um, went blank. So um, I think I'll just quit because I just completely went blank and don't know what I was saying. My bar oh. My Dell 1525 laptop, I think it's the one that started it all. It got infected. Probably got, I think what happened was I was installing a bunch of webcam software. I downloaded over the last several years and never actually tried out because I hardly ever used Windows. And I, some of them may have always been infected and I didn't know it because they were on my Linux server. That uh, shiny one there is uh, a Linux system in there and three or four hard drives for I think. And it used to be my main system, but it's only a core, dual core. And uh, I now have a quad core that's a little bit better, a little bit faster. And so it's my backup server. That's where everything already was anyway. So uh, I had been installing those, and then I copied. Um, I use a Windows file transfer thing to copy. There's my... Uh, My quad core, that's a Lenovo i5 that I have Fedora 23 and Windows 7 on. Well, copying everything from the laptop here, uh, a vast went off uh, during that copy, and um, I was just trying to quickly build up that new system, and it was clean and brand new and never been really used, and vast went off. I thought, oh, great, and now it's infected. So they're both infected. I broke the one on the Lenovo scanning it with virus scanners, and so now I'm just going to re now I'm going to reformat both of them. I'm hoping I won't have to reformat the. Uh, I turned it off now; you can't even see it. That uh, that was an old E machine, but it's got a motherboard had bad cap syndrome, and uh, I got it from somebody in return for work and building them. I just want to; they just wanted me to build them a new system and. Uh, so I already had that motherboard and bought it from one of my our systems and it turned out didn't need it. It was actually the switch of all things, the power switch. As a matter of fact, it's a box just like this one. 
and the switch behind that button right there had gone out and I thought it was the motherboard. <laughs> I don't think I can go in explaining why I thought that, but uh, it turned out to be the switch. It would work and not work, work and not work, and I finally caught it. It would pass continuity tests, you know, every time I tested it for a while. So, um, got two two Windows 7 systems that I've got to reformat and I'm hoping not to reformat that other one because it, it's running good other than that one thing and no other bad you know worms or Trojans have showed up on it so we'll see what happens I'm getting to the point I haven't really used Windows much since 2005 when I discovered Linux I love Linux and Fedora is my favorite and I like the Bane but uh, I got this um, IBM, old IBM, 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, just I turned it into a web server. It's quiet and uh, doesn't use as much, you know, quite as much resources as a uh, Intel. I mean, it's an Intel, but it's a Celeron, so it doesn't use quite as much, uh, you know, electricity running all the time. It's not powerful enough to, you know, like watch videos on or anything, but it'll do anything else you wanted to do. But I don't use it. I just just use my web server. So, uh, I got some more down there. I didn't really mention them, but that, um, that, uh, I know Y5 is really a wind term, basically, what you call it. There's two of them down there, the older models. Those are, used to be made by WYSE, and now they're owned by Dell. They're called them wind terms, and they're just very, basic systems that they had XP on them and then that one that's blue and white was the first machine ever built back in about 02 or something like that maybe somewhere around in there that's a Pentium 4 and I've got Fedora 22 on it and it's a little sluggish with that I, I think I need to put the Bane on it or something but it'll do actually believe it or not you can edit videos really well on it and takes maybe now 30 minutes to an hour longer than say the quad core over there to render the video but and if it wasn't for that it's kind of noisy and heat makes a lot of heat I'd just do all videos on it all the time make you know render videos on it but because uh, I don't and it won't you can't watch YouTube anything with flash that anything that has flash or HTML5 actually uses up a lot of your resources Any, the internet anything in the web browser Chrome's the worst It'll, I've seen Chrome use three gig of RAM, uh, just just sitting there trying to watch uh, videos with it. It'll lock. As a matter of fact, that's the only problem with this uh, this one down here, this uh, Lenovo Y5. It's only got 256 megabyte megabyte of video memory, not gigabyte megabyte, and it will lock up. You can 10 to 30 minutes of watching videos in Firefox, Chrome, forget it can't really do it more than five minutes um, it'll just lock up you have to reboot it because um, it wasn't meant for that though of course it was just meant to be a business it's meant to run on a network and uh, it, it was meant for business not for watching videos and stuff so uh, but I got it for free in return for somebody else from working on some computer for them so most of these computers that I just showed you, these older ones, I got from the same guy from working on stuff for him. So, uh, yeah, I work too cheap, I know. <coughs> but, um, <coughs> I, uh, there's the, the that's the Lenovo uh, on my monitor there. Actually, that's not the Lenovo. That's uh, guess who that is. But um, one giant leap. That's a clue. Okay. So um, anyway, I don't know why I rambled so long. I was just going to make a quick little video explaining my scan to help myself remember more than anything. I got to remember these. Uh, I've got these phones set at. Uh, 10 megabits per second and 30 frames per second 
So these files could bing fast. So goodbye.